today we are going to talk about the smallest and the most fragile bone of our facial skeleton or our visceral cranium. This is the lacrimal bone or the os lacrimal. It is present in our eye socket. Well, this bone is as little as our fingernail. We can say that the lacrimal bone is a paired bone, meaning that there are two bones present in a facial skeleton, the right and the left lacrimal bone. Okay, first things first, if we dissect the name, the word lacrima is Latin for tears. This bone is also called os lacrimal, or sometimes differently spelled as lacrimal bone with a Y. So this bone is called lacrimal or related to tears because it is closely related with the nearby lacrimal structures or the tear gland structures. So basically we can see that it supports the lacrimal sac which is the upper dilated end of the nasolacrimal duct and is lodged in a deep groove formed by the lacrimal bone. Okay, so side by side, it also supports the lacrimal canuculi or the lacrimal canals, which are the small channels in each eyelid that drain the lacrimal fluid from the lacrimal puncta to the lacrimal sac. This forms part of the lacrimal apparatus that drains the lacrimal fluid from the surface of the eye towards the nasal cavity. And this is how our lacrimal bone makes up the nasolacrimal canals. It is also said to be located at the medial wall of the orbit. Okay, before moving forward and discussing the articulations of the lacrimal bone, let's recall all the facial bones. Since they're all correlated to each other, so it's very important to know them as well. So my friend Max the Skeleton will take it from here. Hello, I am Max. I am back to tell you more about facial skeleton. Facial skeleton is a remarkably interesting part of our skeleton system. This part is made up of eight bones. I know it is difficult to remember the names of all. So, I bring you a quick facial bones mnemonic to help you remember them. My mouth's palate never liked, zucchini, in, vinegar. My, for maxilla. Mouths, for mandible. Palate. For palatine. Never. For nasal. Liked. For lacrimal. Zucchini. For zygomatic. In. For inferior nasal conchi. Vinegar. For vomer. You can find detailed lectures on all these bones at scadia.com. Thank you, Max. He's always bringing interesting information for us. So now that we've recalled all the facial bones, we can now better understand the location of the lacrimal bone. As you can see, these are the lacrimal bones. They articulate with four other bones of a facial skeleton. Two of these bones make up the cranium, which are the frontal bones and the ethmoid. And the other two articulations are with the maxilla and the inferior nasal concha. Always remember that the lacrimal bone forms suture with all these other bones. Do you recall what are sutures? Sutures are immovable fibrous joints which are mainly present in our skull. Now because of the location of this small bone, the fractures of the lacrimal bones are not very common. But if the lacrimal bone is fractured, it can cause the obstruction of the nasolacrimal duct. Now this increases the pressure in the duct and cause injuries to its walls. The increased pressure within the duct presents with watery and irritated eyes because the tears cannot train normally. So this lecture is not over yet. To learn about the little details of the small bones and learn all about the anatomical features, the surfaces and the borders, go head on over to scaria.com.